Alright, hello everybody, welcome back. Uh, we're doing a bit of a special thing tonight. Uh, I was going to play some Final Fantasy VIII, but I ended up kind of changing my mind as the Super Nintendo stuff on the uh, Switch uh, went live. Uh, the big, uh, beautifully named Super Nintendo Entertainment System Nintendo Switch Online app, uh, as everybody always calls it. Um, and we're going to play some games here. Uh, Probably mostly the lesser known stuff, uh, because, you know, you don't need to see somebody play Super Mario World, uh, Yoshi's Island, or some of these other games for the millionth time, so. Uh, actually, let's go to a save point right there so I can get right back into the music. Uh, but yeah, this is, uh, Super Earth Defense Force. Um, we're gonna kinda go alphabetically, but... Yeah, if you played the NES stuff or seen that, uh, you know that they have the, the box art all here, and this was all alphabetically ordered right away. So I don't know what happened, uh, why they decided that was a good thing. Uh, I think they should just do by default, whereas I don't think that was the thing on the NES games. They just did that uh, for you and kind of uh, expected you to uh, manage it all by yourself. Not like sorting options for whatever reason. So, uh, that was nice to see. Uh, though they do have, obviously, The Legend of Zelda under T, when it should be up here under L. And it does the, the whole reshaping thing, uh, depending on how many titles you have in that particular section here. But yeah, we got a bunch of games here, and a lot of stuff, so a lot of stuff you might expect with, you know, F-Zero, uh, some Kirby games, Legend of Zelda, Pilot Wings, Star Fox... Uh, Super Mario Kart, Mario World, Super Mario World 2, uh, Super Metroid. There's some stuff here that you might have never heard of or don't know much about. Uh, so we're going to kind of start checking this stuff out. Uh, first one up here is Brawl Brothers, which I probably should keep a little list of uh, uh, the Wikipedia pages for some of these games, assuming they have pages. I assume they should. Uh, but yeah, this is, let's see, Brawl Brothers. Alright, there we go. I'm going to try and change the, the stuff here on the Twitch stream uh, as we go along here. Uh, but I don't expect to be playing any of these really all too long, but, you know, we got about two hours, so we can get some time in here. Uh, yeah, so this game's neat. Uh, they do have difficulties. I don't know why it's on hard by default, but uh, they got sound and music tests, as you know they should. Let's see. There we go. Hmm. Seems all right. Uh, how are the controls here? Oh, uh, attack. Oh, I can change these things. Special jump. Uh, dash type type A. I don't I don't know what that means. And what is there another? All oh, three buttons. Okay, I guess. Uh, I could jump up here as well. Uh, all right. So how do I get out of here? That's one of the other things. Is like okay, how do I get out of this? It's not doing anything. Uh, that's that. Okay. Reset game? I don't... That's weird. None of the buttons were doing anything as far as, like, getting out of that. Jericho. So, I do have this on uh, Pixel Perfect, so if it looks a little bit weird, uh, that's kind of how I have it set up. I could just, you know, create a suspend point. Uh, go back to game selection. And they have the options here, which is not that different. There's a CRT filter or 4x3 uh, sort of thing, and show the controls, which I'm fine with having that because sometimes uh, I forget things. Which it doesn't actually list like game controls, which is the other thing. 
Uh, but yeah, Brawl Brothers, published by Jaleco, developed by Jaleco. Okay, has some, uh, was called Rushing Beat Ren, or Ron, in, uh, Japan. So, let's get a uh, one-player game here. Uh, go on, side-scrolling beat em up Second game in the Rushing Beat series after Rival Turf. It's followed by the Peacekeeper, so let's, uh... This guy looks like uh, M. Bison. There we go. As M. Bison dude here. Uh, let's see, as in Final Fight, players to walk sideways and fight bad guys for several stages. It is the only known Super Nintendo game that features a Japanese version on the same cartridge. Accessible through a cheat code. Okay. I guess we're going here. I don't know. Uh, hello, zombie. Do the SNES games have online multiplayer? They have uh, friends list multiplayer. So you can sort of set up a, a room to play with a friend uh, sort of thing. Uh, I can show that off in a minute here. But it's basically the same setup as the NES games. So if you don't... And the problem is if you don't have a way to communicate with people uh, outside of the Switch uh, ecosystem, then it's not going to do you too much good. That's sort of the issue I have, uh, unless you just happen to be on at the same time and see, like, oh, this person has an open thing on there, uh, playing whatever, whatever they're playing here. But yeah, should be able to have two-player, like, uh, Mario Kart, it's not four, but it's better than nothing, I guess. Yeah, this sure is Final Fight. Not with the big sprites, though. With this big heavy dude. I have... Those guys have... Oh! Alright. This guy knows how to wrestle. Oh, right there. Yeah, just power bomb them. Yeah, so wait. There we go, there's my power, my special there. Uh, I was wondering if they had that to start if they patch in. Yep, yeah, I think they have pretty much all the features that the NES stuff has currently uh, built in. So you got oh, all that stuff. You can go rewind if you need to, if you mess up. You know, an easy way to kind of get around some of these scenarios if you don't just want to save scum. Almost dead. Oh, there we go. But yeah, that's uh, that's kind of the situation. Ooh. Oh, I can pick where I land. Uh, right there. Nope. Nope, I just start there. Okay. All right. So yeah, this is... Oh, wow. I don't remember guys having guns in uh, Final Fight. That might have been a later thing. These guys are definitely cheap. They have animation priority over me most of the time, I guess. Oh, wow. They sure liked aliens. That, like, exosuit there. Well, how am I almost already down to the bottom? There we go. Just beat these guys up. Ooh, ooh, ooh. There we go. Oh, crap. Oh... Spec, spec, crack. Crash, alright. There we go, we're getting some good stuff here. Beat up Heckler and Phantom. I always like when they have dumb names, though these aren't necessarily dumb names. There's Flynn. Who is this yellow guy? Oh, crap. I figure out my weakness is fire. But I also can wrestle. Oh, wait, uh where did that guy come from? Phantom. Alright, there we go. Just suplex that guy. Snap suplex, I think. I guess what you technically call it. Uh, oh. Yeah, we're gonna probably play out our lives here and then move on. But I can see myself kind of going through on a, a lesser difficulty and... Oh, 
We got a date with the helicopter here. Oh. He's just shooting his own guys, huh? Thank you. That's helpful. Oh, good. Alright, well, we're good. We're good making some uh, moves here. This guy's helping us out. Is our helicopter support? I don't understand the animation priority sometimes, but that must just be the hard difficulty. Boom. Alright, we can go. Oh, crap. No, no, no. Not my, not my bat. Uh, I don't think I have a run. There we go. There goes zero. Boom. Oh, wow. All right, here we go. Yeah, and they got a, they got a Super Nintendo controller that's coming out. I think you can order soon. I don't know if they have a date for that yet. But I assume like the uh, NES one, wow, they can, they can do damage on me while I'm in the middle of a throw. Yeah, it must just change the, the amount of damage that enemies do. And you think if you're trying to shoot at somebody, you would not do it while they're on the ground? There we go. Oh, Leadhead. Alright, that's a good name. That's a good dumb name. Ooh. Alright, well, I finished my, uh... Whoa! That guy, uh... Alright, this... Yeah, this is not a fairly made game. At least on hard. They start trying hard, so but they can definitely get like that. So uh don't know if there is a quick no. Alright, there we go. That's game over. We'll move on to the next game here. We're gonna play some Breath of Fire, see what this is. I know this is a JRPG series. Uh, I played some of five. Dragon Quarter, I think it was called. Uh, interesting, this is like the one, the one Capcom game I know of that's in this. I think. And I get struck by lightning, and it's Breath of Fire. This might be one we just play for a little bit. Um, let's see. Sometimes it takes a few seconds for you to be able to interact with the menu. Uh, nope, I guess it just doesn't let you do anything else. Uh, let's see, let's name you. Oh, it's four letters. Alright, well that's not great. Um, what could be a name here? Just name us... Uh, Arrow, pick a good, uh, uh, mature name, but there we go. Okay, so we get message speed, uh, fast would be good. Uh, key configuration, uh, what? Oh. Okay, well. Do I actually have to pick these? Okay, is Y key, uh, would that be um, option? I don't, I assume I can mess with this later on. L, R key, oh, the shoulder buttons. Um, magic, equip. I guess choose and cancel those. Okay. Are we good to go? This. K. 
Game start. But 01, okay. That was weird. Wake up, warrior. Disaster has struck. We need the power of the dragon. Ah, uh, set the dragon on fire. You'll perish if you do if you don't wake up. Oh, what? The village is engulfed in flames. Everything is burning. We must go. All right. Now yeah, let's uh, let's take our time. Oh, there's the menus. Sure. There's also a version of the menus. Oh, this is good to make you do all that before you know what any of the buttons. Like I might have to Google. Oh no, the fire! I'll stop his fire. Rada de Cabra, Cohas Caspo. I imagine it's one strong, but at my age, I can barely douse this fire. Okay. There we go. Oh, I did not mean to do that. That is the pro controller for you. This building is safe from the flames for the time being. Alright, well, let's talk to everybody. We don't know what caused the fire. Luckily, the people here are safe. Maybe we should be out. Don't hang out in the same building that's on fire. We're surrounded by flames. What have we done to deserve this? Fire zone tense. It doesn't seem natural. Let's go ahead. As much magic will hold the flames. Let me just look at the fire. Uh, what are we doing here? We'll go surrounded by flames. But for how long? I don't know. Oh. Faith is in Sarah! Her magic will keep us safe. Oh, the humanity! This is horrible! Oh, it's Todd. Sarah. The Dark Dragons are outside of the village. We're surrounded. The Dark Dragon family is scheming against the other dragon families. Oh, jeez. That's, uh... Here that Zog, the Dark Dragon King, vowed to conquer the world. And his first target is the Light Dragons. Zog is an evil fool. I have no idea who's saying any of this. Why are they trying to destroy us? Is it those two up top? The old man and the, the other guy? Zog fears us. He doesn't know that we've lost the power of the dragon. Alright, this sure is a JRPG. Alright, so it's just going to keep going like this. So we're going to... Oh, no, I didn't want to do that. I want to do that. There we go. Create suspend save for myself. Oh, game selection. Alright, we'll move on to the next thing. Demon's Crest. Uh, okay. Or no, this... Is Breath of Fire was published by Squaresoft, I think, here, but developed by Capcom. Capcom also made Demon's Crest, so I guess this is their other game that's in here. Yeah, Capcom USA. There we go. Some good uh, Capcom there. All right, let's fire. Good. Uh oh, man in the fires. All right, we're gonna move on here. What are our options? Yeah, still using the the start button or the plus button here uh, to select items, select the menu options. Uh, actually start whatever you're doing. Mono or all? Stereo, okay. I think we're good. Uh, let's start. Let's check this out. Yeah, I don't know too much about this one. There we go. 
Demon's Crust. Known in Japan as Demon's Blazon. B-L-A-Z-O-N. Alright, well, sure. Size scrolling platform game. Alright, I don't know if that thing... Okay, it's gonna get us damage. It's not... F okay, well, we're dead. I assume that's supposed to happen. Or maybe not. Is this that kind of game? Oh, what's that? Oh, that's the dragon in the back. Okay, that's pretty cool. Dragon's finding its way out, I guess. But yeah, no feedback at all whether... Yeah, I can take two hits. This is a real fun game. Really fun. Uh, I don't know if there's any lives or anything. There's no uh, HUD here yet. Mild RPG elements. Okay. And I can't do anything about this right now. Oh. I don't know what that is. Oh, I can fly. Oh, crap. Am I supposed to be? Okay, I got him in the head. Okay, we got this. Hey, dum dum. Oh. Okay, well, we did that. That was an okay thing. Uh, is this... Mm, let's see... Uh oh, he's back. Oh, what? I can also just say, hey, what? We're gonna take this spot. Oh, his head fell off. Alright, well, that's good. Hey, got more whatever that is. Okay, let's see. Oh. Let's me knock over stuff in the background, I guess. Ooh. There we go. Can kind of climb up walls. All right. Well, Yeah, I don't know what's... That's weird that you had this like weird wall jump kind of thing where you can just hang on the wall. Oh, what's this guy doing? I saw the Hammer Bros uh, in Super Mario Brothers and like, we gotta do that. There we go. Yeah, I'm curious what the mild RPG elements are. Alright, there's that guy. Got this. Ooh. No? Can't 
can take that down? Okay. And these guys just uh, keep appearing. Huh. This has a very like ghouls and ghosts kind of vibe. I would not be surprised if like, that was their kind of intention, especially also being a Capcom game. Ah, destroy that. Oh no! That thing is real! Oh, whoa. Well. Oh crap. Okay, so we got health there up in the, the top left. Destroy him! I, I have no idea what this guy is doing. Uh, seems like it only took damage to his head, yeah. Oh, sorry about that, I missed that earlier. Oh, there we go! Did we just leave? No? Okay, there we go. His essence has died. Another one of these, uh... Demon crests, I would have say. Alright, so that is okay. Oh. Uh, identity fire. Identify fire, okay. Lots of stuff I guess I can collect. Uh, let's see. Let's create a save slot. Back to game selection. Alright, what's next? Joe Mac 2. Data East. Alright. Get some data east here. See how that's going. Uh let's see. Uh, oh, there it is. Joe, Joe and Mac 2 lost in the tropics. What do we got for options? Okay, jump, jump, attack, attack, dash, dash on the shoulders. Okay. Yeah, two player. I don't know what super two player is. Uh, let's see, six levels. Alright, let's, uh, start. Mm, let's see. I don't know. But alright. Oh, they stole the crown. Oh no. He says a caveman named Gork has stolen the crown belonging to the chief of Kali village. Yeah, named Gork. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, what? First go to Tiki village. No one's home, it's so lonely. Alright. Uh, let's see, Kelly Kelly Valley. Beat up dinosaurs. Oh, we got. There we go. We're spitting out stuff now. The mollusks, which yeah, of course they would be on. Oh wow, this guy. Okay. All right. Whoop. We got the bones. 
There we go, going up here. There we go. Okay, some of these flip. Or just keep moving on, it's not really a big deal. Oh, oh, oh. Looks like a Super 2 player, both people can play at the same time, but regular. Okay. That's weird, that's a mode. I guess it's a checkpoint? I don't know. Oh, crap. There we go. Get some health back. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. Got a bone, I don't know. Joe used the key. Oh, that was a key. Okay. The ancient equivalent of uh, putting your key under the mat. Taka Hills, okay. Alright, we got that. What else? Music's not bad. Whoa, what the heck is that? Right, the worm. Is he yelling this? I guess I'm supposed to just use him to get up here? I don't know. What's up with these mollusks? Yeah, I kind of just want to check out some of these other games, because you know what Super Mario World is, and Super Mario Kart and all that. Prepare for a wild ride! Oh no. Well, I did that one poorly. Oh, we did. I didn't know cavemen men had religions. To signify they turn into ghosts. Uh, let's see, down here. Ride the worm! Buddy over here. There we go. Can I? Okay, there we go. Ride the worm. I got two Joe lives though. And wild ride here. Oh crap! Well, that's fun. How about I? How about I do this? How about I suspend, or uh, rewind back and then I don't have to play that all over again? Yeah, thank you for the, the heads up. Oh, cool. Yeah, I think at this point they were making games kind of Kind of still like arcade games, but kind of relaxing off of stuff like, hey, oh crap, I keep forgetting that guy is there, or not realizing how I should stop. I should jump over here. Yeah, there we go. There we go. We're good. We're good. All right, eat that meat. But Joe, you're killing the planet. Uh, it's random meat lying on the ground. Just drink some water, I guess. Archer cavemen, I guess. I sure. Why not? Why not? And yeah, on Sunday we'll be doing a Dreamcast Spectacular, playing a bunch of Dreamcast games. Oh, I didn't realize these are things up here. I don't know if they're these work like, I assume these work like Mario coins. I get a hundred of them. I got some extra uh, lives or whatever. Some sort of bonus. Hey, worm. First off, you're ugly. Second off, you're not being as helpful as you should be. Ooh. Ooh, I upgraded my weapon. Uh, yeah, we played a bunch of Dreamcast stuff. Just some of the stuff that I have. So I don't have, like, all the great stuff, but I have some... I have some good stuff. Ooh, we got fire. 
Uh, okay. This is something I could see working in a modern context of an indie game. Yeah, now I kind of have this range attack so I can do some damage here. Yeah, this is Job Mac 2. Though I would definitely say, in terms of caveman games, the one I had on Super Nintendo was Chuck Rock. I don't think I ever got past the second level, so... A Stegosaurus? I want to say I read recently... Was it Stegosaurus? By the time the T-Rex was around, the Stegosaurus were, at, were fossils. It was a weird contextual thing that I did not realize. Uh, like, that's how old they were compared to T-Rexes. It might not have been that specific type of dinosaur, but there's like dinosaurs that classically when people are making dinosaur movies or whatever, uh, they put them together and they technically were not. They were very far apart. Which makes sense, because a lot of those eras of dinosaurs were uh, millions of years apart at times. Oh, we're done. Let me just poop on his head. Alright. Nighttime, sweet dreams. Alright. Sure. Uh oh. Gork. Gork is here. Oh, cool. It's gonna be a chase level. I am. The arrow. I got this. Oh yeah, you remember in the, the, the caveman times uh, when uh, there's just random uh, things of dirt just coming out of the, the ground? This is the dirt era, I guess. Come on, come on. Oh, I got right under there. Alright, pro moves. I got the stone! Six more to go. Oh no, it's like the Dragon Balls. I mean, they don't have much uh, in this time frame here. I mean, the dirt is coming. Okay. What, can we spend our money? Yeah, I gotta fly in this room, so if I... Oh, hey, here's a password, so if you want to, uh, I'm going to capture that. If you want to join here on this perfect run, uh, we can do that. How are we doing on time? Okay, we're not doing too bad. I'm going to create a save spot here. And uh, maybe we'll come back for that uh, a little bit later, but I want to get through some of these other games. Uh, we're kind of playing all the smaller games, the games that you probably haven't seen much of uh, elsewhere or uh, played much of. But yeah, Stone Race FX, which they called out in the Nintendo Direct that this was a game that had never come to anything else since it released on the uh, Super Nintendo, so uh, I'm curious to check this out. Race games were very interesting on the Super Nintendo. Did you play Demon's... I mean, Demon's Crest? Yeah, we played that earlier. Uh, it took me a while to figure out how to take out the first uh, boss that they start you with. Uh... Wait, what are these arrows on the sides for? Alright. And yeah, this was doing like somewhat 3D stuff. Uh, ooh, that, that one's super fast, but its body is weak and it's kind of a slow acceleration. Strong, fast, 100 miles. Yeah, we'll take the this one with the eyes. Uh, let's see. But yeah, that Demon's Cross seemed pretty neat. It seemed very Ghosts and Goblins-ish in terms of just throwing endless enemies at you. Uh, novice, I guess? I am a novice, so... Let's try these out, see what's going on here. Oh, this frame rate! You can count the frames, I think. Am I going? 
Okay, there we go. I don't know what that is. That's something. Alright, ooh, rank one. Yeah, we're kind of playing them in an alphabetical order. They're also kind of listed that way by default. Oh, crap. Ooh, I do like the... Oh, crap, the tires. The tires look really nice on this. Oh, there's cross traffic. Oh, that guy was just trying to take me out. I still have no idea what these do. Oh, this guy does not turn well. I still don't know the controls too well. It's still a shame they don't put, like, the manual, the scan of the manual up on the, uh, in the app itself so you can look at that. Because uh, I think that would be much easier than going to... I am not turning like I should. Maybe I just need to let off the gas. It's usually not how racing games were made back then. Uh, let's see, final lap. Oh, I got a horn. Alright, I thought I did. I gotta play with the- oh crap! That guy just took everybody out. This guy does not know how to turn this car. I have no idea what's going on on the screen right now. Checkpoints. Uh, but yeah, we played, uh, what was it, Brawl Brothers, which is a Final Fight clone, in every sense of the word. Uh, there we go, goal! That's what they say with racing games, goal! Uh, okay, we got extra time, so we're trying to keep our time here going. Okay, we got our best lap at the end. Uh, alright. Doing pretty well. Uh, if we do have time, I do want to play some Kirby's Dream Course. Because that is a game that people should check out. Which, if you don't know, that is essentially Kirby Mini Golf. And it works a lot better than... It was like one of those first games, weird like side games with Kirby. You're like, this shouldn't work, but it does. Man, this draw distance is crazy. It makes sense because it's a Super Nintendo using the FX chip. We got some half pipes here. Can do some uh, 720s. Oh wow, we got tunnels. Okay, we got water. Ooh, underwater. Still hard to tell what is going on here, but yeah, this. It's amazing that this is on a Super Nintendo, even if it has to have a specific chip in it. But yeah, it's also cool that they, I guess they, so it was rumored for the longest time they had something issue with uh, FX chip games, that they couldn't emulate those or didn't have the rights to it or something like that. It kept them from offering that stuff on the, uh, crap, what the heck, uh, on Virtual Console, like Yoshi's Island or uh, I guess Stunt Race, FX, whatever, whatever this game's called. That guy's nice and fast, he just can't drive. Crap. Though he's not doing okay here. But yeah, in the water he just gets run over by my monster truck here. Uh, but they must have gotten that solved at some point, because they had, on the uh, Super Nintendo Mini, uh, Yoshi's Island was on there. Obviously that's here as well. It's not the GBA version like they did with the, uh, the 3DS Ambassador program. Where I have, you know, 10 GBA games I can play on my 3DS at any point. Uh, which is cool. I still don't know if those gems... Oh, wow! Okay, so if I'm about to run into somebody I can just go... Whoop! 
I can jump. Okay. I think it's like a a drift. F zero no. Is it F zero style? I know it's uh wipeout style, I guess. Well, this came out before wipeout, I think. I like how when you crash into a wall you kinda just physics happens, I guess. I don't know what these gems do. Do they extend my time? Is that what they do? I got boost there. I got that. Okay. Goal! I got second, though. All because I braked right at the end because I was trying to figure out what boost was. We did pretty well there. Uh, let's see. We're almost an hour in. Doing pretty well. Uh, let's see. Extra time, extra car. Okay. We got this bonus game here. I don't know what's gonna be. Bonus tracks. The 90s. Okay, stunt race FX set. Oh, uh, we're going to. Wait, what? Controlling the uh, the semi truck. Uh, this thing does not control well. Oh crap! Okay, yeah, I forgot this long course here. No, just screw it. We're just getting what we can. Yeah, this thing does not control the way you want. Also. I don't know what I'm doing here. Am I supposed to go this way? I don't know. Who knows what's going on here. So we can only get... Uh, 10 seconds, I guess? No laps? I don't... Okay, sure. I guess I wanted to be a soccer game where the ball is a car and you control it. Goal. Yeah. Maybe. Uh, let's see. Push start. But yeah, it's kind of crazy at this point where pressing start to start a game made sense. And then it changed to where we started using the face buttons for that. And uh, you maybe at best press start to get out of the like title screen. Okay, there we go. I got my boost. Oh. Okay, I think those gems fill up my boost meter. They must. Whoa! Imagine if you tried to take this car, this game's engine, and make Rocket League in it. I mean, Rocket League on the Switch doesn't necessarily run super great. It runs fine. Uh, it looks definitely worse than the other versions. But yeah, the... the I'm getting used to the frame rate here. Doesn't mean it's good. Just means I'm getting used to it. There we go. Trying to get reverberating sound in here a little bit. Yeah, they're doing some stuff here. That's pretty interesting. Whoa! Something happened there. Alright, we're first again. I like just crashing into the walls and not knowing what exactly is going to happen. Yeah, I keep forgetting to use the, the shoulder buttons to turn. Or Steve returns. Oh, whoa! Okay. Okay, so this is kind of the desert, so... What animal was that that was crossing there? 
The dreaded desert deer. Uh, I don't know. Oh, rocks. Sure. Yeah, there's like a second when you go into tunnels and out of tunnels. Or into tunnels, I guess. That's kind of all black, and you're just like, I hope it loads the tunnel. Alright, goal! Alright, so this game is pretty alright. Uh, oh crap, what is the racing game I... It's not Race FX, so... I forgot what the other one I was thinking of. Okay, this is made by Argonaut Software, which is a company that made a lot of good stuff over the years. Developed by Nintendo EAD uh, with the assistance of Argonauts. Okay. So they did some stuff here. Oh, there's a Formula One type vehicle, coupe, four wheel drive, two wheel drive, and a trailer, semi trailer truck. Okay, speed tracks, stunt tracks, battle tracks. Test run and free tracks, okay. Uh, I'm gonna look up a developer here. Because uh, it's a racing game that I would love to have from DMA Design. Who now you might know as Rockstore North. Uh, they made stuff before uh, GTA. I think we're gonna suspend here and move over to another game. This is pretty fun though. Uh, we're going to play Super Earth Defense Force, a game that I know a lot about because I played it a bunch. Uh, let's see. What is the game I'm thinking of? As I look through their games. It's not Grand Theft Auto. It's uh, Uniracer. Uniracers. Made by DMA Design. Published by Nintendo. Uh, a really fun game where you race with uh, unicycles. But yeah, this game is pretty cool. Super Earth Defense Force has nothing to do with the the series, uh, the campy series of shooting insects and all that right now. Uh, this was well before that. Made by Jellico. And uh, the thing I definitely remember... There we go. Super Earth Defense Force. And the weird thing is, if you noticed... Uh, it just says Earth Defense Force here on the box art. I think on the cartridge it said Super Earth Defense Force on the the top part where it had the name on it, but here it just in a, here in the game it says Super Earth Defense Force, but it just says Earth Defense Force on the on the cover and all that, which is weird. It even says Earth Defense Force port just adds Super on it, but yeah, I think Earth Defense Force was the arcade version when it came to Super Nintendo, as with a lot of Super Nintendo games. They added the super on it, because why not? Uh, wait, did I forget to do something here? No, I'm not actually playing it. Sorry, folks. Oh, uh, yeah, made by uh, Jellico with the one of the composers is Sukasa Tawada, who, if you are a Nintendo person... I keep forget. I keep ignoring the game itself trying to read this, but he's worked on a lot of the Pokemon games recently. A lot of the side stuff, I mean. Uh, here we go. Uh, it's like Pokemon Coliseum, Pokemon XD, Gale of Darkness, Troze, uh, Pokemon Battle Revolution. Uh, okay, what do I want here? I want... Vulcan? Okay. Uh, yeah, Pokemon Battle Revolution, Pokemon Battle Troze, Pokemon Shuffle. Stuff like that, like... Oh. Uh, and this thing is pretty cool. Because it is uh, kind of a, a shmup where as you use your weapons, you can see up in the top part, uh, you gain experience with them. And they get more powerful. Oh yeah, I remember all this. Uh, gonna get that guy? There we go. I think I just homes in on you. You can take a couple of hits. Yeah, 
VF5 is really good, Iron Rain is okay. Yeah, this has nothing to do with any of that. This is, uh, this is the original Earth Defense Force game. Get this guy here. Oh, crap. He took me down. And I want to say I've gotten to the th third level in this. I think that's where I've gotten. At, so I'm going to change. Yeah, we're going to... Oh, that's not what I wanted. There we go. And I'm trying to change the game titles that are on the on the Twitch stream here. Uh, yeah, Sukasa, Sukasa Tawada has a, a good... Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'll use Vulcan here. Just keep using that. So you have different weapons you can start with uh, and take them on. Uh, this is a game I like a lot. And you kind of get a lot of early... Uh, Uh, leveling up, just getting these guys up here early on. Uh, and this is good to have a stick on. So you can get just more fluid uh, controls. Alright, we're going to get this leveled up pretty soon here. You kind of just don't screw with this guy. Just let him do his thing. He's going to eventually fly away. Oh, nope, he doesn't. That's right. Oh crap. Level up! Yeah, see, I got a better shot here. Better, more powerful shot. I just stay out of his way. And I do really like the music on this. Uh, they do have a. Uh... Yeah, I got that guy really quick. Oh crap. But yeah, this is a pretty solid shmup, I would say. I'm not playing it well at all. Uh, let's see. Laser, atomic. Let's try homing. So I want to say... I'm trying to think how this plays. Yeah, this has like little circles. You're kind of shooting out like Cheerios. And they get... I think you get different shapes when you level it up. But yeah, oh, we already started level two. Okay, or we're already at level two. I don't know. I do love the way it sounds when you hit enemies. All right, here we go. We're making good progress here. Oh, got him. But yeah, I assume the score and the leveling for this weapon is probably uh, lesser than the others. But yeah, this is like the, the main shmup I had with my Super Nintendo when I was playing as a kid. I uh, still have it. Or, it's not the same copy. Oh, crap. Uh, I sold that stuff off when I got a Genesis. Uh, but when I got a uh, Super Nintendo again. Uh, when I got older, uh, I made sure I acquired uh, most of the games I had. Like uh, Super Baseball Simulator 1000, I think was one I had. Oh yeah, I remember this, thinking like, there's the, the weird nose has there, and like the teeth sticking out of it here on the front. Just gotta watch out for its uh, shots here. Shooting its nose is kind of what I always try to do. Alright, he's dead. Oh, nope. Second form. Still does that. I was thinking there was another form. Oh, oh. Alright. I don't know how I'm dodging these shots. Oh, nope. Didn't get that. 150,000 points is not bad. Alright, so I think as you get closer to enemies, it comes out a little faster. Maybe. I do love the soundtrack for this. Yes, you can drop the, uh, yeah, those pods as, like, explosives. Alright. 
All right, there. Ooh, storm coming. Here comes the boss of the level. Oh yeah, I remember this thing. Yeah, you gotta watch out. It's got the Gatling guns here. Yeah, it's gonna shoot out. Yeah, fireballs here. Oh, okay. Get concerned there. There we go. Took out the Gatling. Oh yeah, crap. Fires these six shots at a time. Alright, there we go. And he's gonna throw the fireballs. There we go. You can't get me. I haven't even been hit once. As far as I know. I've not gotten hit and then got a shield back. I think we're gonna get to the second stage. And that has a really nice song to it. So uh, when I was setting up this stream, I was playing uh, the sound test from this, the music test. There we go. Splits up in half. All right. I want to say the story is different between the arcade version and this. Yeah, the arcade version takes place in the equivocate future date of Earth. Oh, uh, yeah, it's a good celebration. We're level three. Select my weapon. I'm going to stick with the homing. Yeah, the Earth is unexpectedly attacked by the mysterious Azimo Empire. That's the arcade version, Super Nintendo, the Azimo Empire. Alright, yeah, we got these things here. It's firing these, like, weird squares. And a little bit of slowdown. I think that's normal. Well, I must have gotten to the third stage, because the third stage is, like, in a cave. Yeah, we got the straight shot, but then we got the uh, little dudes that are hanging around uh, shooting out these homing shots. All right, there we go. Uh oh, oh, oh. Yeah, they kind of swirl these around, try to get you. Try to get you from the behind. Oh, I love this like little space city you're flying over. Might be in our city. Oh, slow down. Get a slow down ship. All right. Now you get this point where there's just one enemy, and so all these shots on the screen just start homing into enemies. Oh yeah, that's good stuff here. Oh, I took a shit. I took a, a hot a shot there. Uh, let's see. Alright, here we go. Alright, we're gonna probably bounce out of this pretty soon. I wanna say that slowdown is kinda normal, but it might not be. Oh, crap. Aha, uh -huh, here we. Nope. We're gonna hold it down. Aha, uh -huh, it never happened. Never happened. Uh, wait a second. Oh no. Paused it. There we go. Yeah, I created a save slot that's just uh, a suspend. That's just the music. Sunlit a colony. Yeah. Yeah, that's good stuff. Uh, let's see, we got a few more we want to play here. Let's see. And this is... Ooh, Act Against AIDS. Okay. Uh, from Compile. Super Puyo Puyo 2. Or Super Puyo 2. 
I forget what the title is. Uh, Super Puyo Puyo 2, which never came over, I think. Sorry about that. Uh, let's see, yeah. We'll see what kind of solo stuff this has in here. Alright. Let's get Japanese anime here. Oh yeah, there's the fish. This girl giving us the peace sign. And yeah, the fish and these weird dudes up front. Demon girl. Yeah, two, see? Puyo Puyo. Super. Alright, uh, there we go. Kind of cool to give us a Japanese game. I have no idea what any of these say. Uh, okay, it's probably one player, two player, four player, five player, two player? I don't know. Not sure. Uh. Are they not, not a, uh. Easy mode. Okay, well, we're in easy mode. Oh, yeah. Tell them off. Sure, we'll just skip that. Ooh, lesson one. But yeah, puzzle game. You kind of want to get uh, four of a kind on these. As you do, you will send like garbage blocks over to the other uh, player. And you try and set up combos, which is harder than it's it probably should be. I don't know. Super Puzzle Fighter is kind of this as well. There, throw that on, get some extra stuff. Boom! Look at that. Yeah, if you played uh, Super or Sonic, Sonic, uh, Sonic Mania, there's a boss fight that is kind of based on this stuff. This game uh, using Sonic Spinball. I think we're gonna leave that there. Okay, come on. There we go, set this up. There we go. Boom! 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 You're gonna be wrecked. Boom! Look at that. This guy has a lot of trouble. But yeah, we're not gonna spend too much time here because. There are other ways of playing Puyo Puyo. Uh, there's Puyo Puyo Tetris, I think it's called. Uh, which is a ridiculous game that mashes up the both of them. Uh, yeah, we took 95 seconds on that. And then Bears the Owl is crying. We have used Puyo Puyo as a weapon, so I'll play some more of that on my own time. Uh, we got Super Soccer, the weird blonde guy on the front. Presented by Human Inc. Licensed to Nintendo. Alright, Super Soccer. Super Soccer. Yeah, well, so you can play two player, you can play uh, one against each other, or play against the computer. We're gonna play one on computer. Alright, we got Germany, we got Holland, we got Ireland, we got Colombia, we got Yugoslavia, France, England, Argentina, Italy, Cameroon, USA, Uruguay. Belgium, Japan, Romania, and Brazil. We're gonna play the USA. Computer, how many worst teams? Okay, Uruguay. Yeah, yeah sure, whatever. Uh, auto. 
Tex, Rob, Ben, Jay, Scott, Chris, Rich, Brett, Gary, Bart, Spike. Yeah, those are all good uh, American names. I don't know about Tsar. Uh, that guy might be a Russian spy. Uh, but the rest of these are okay. Time. Five, I guess. Uh, let's see. Who's human entertainment? Oh, Japanese. Okay. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, cool. Cool. We lost already. This is accurate to the U.S. soccer experience. The men's soccer experience, at least. Oh, cool. Uh, I've played soccer before uh, as a kid. Uh, I think I did pretty okay. I was a goalie defenseman. Uh, I got kicked in the face once as a goalie. Which is fun. By my own teammate. Oh, oh, oh. So they get there uncontested, they're going to get a goal, as far as I can tell. We haven't even gotten to the the other team's goal. There we go, just rough them up. That's, that's always applauded in soccer. Let's see what's going on. I love they all do the same thing at once. Sure. Oh, cool. Oh, I did like there was some English on that kick. There we go. That's like a tackle button. Just knock him around. Sure. Oh crap. Oh crap. Nope. That's not what I wanted. Nope. Still not. There we go. Oh. Goal kick. Oh. Nope. Okay, so I'm learning more about this game. Okay, we stopped him. So, okay, cool. Sanch. Yeah, so, like, why does that nice, like, uh, punch knockout thing? It also does, like, a, a low kick. So you want to just pass? That's kind of what you want to do. Sounds like the the ump is yelling like yellow. It's a yellow card. Oh cool. He's off sides. I'm pretty sure. I know everything about soccer. All right, we're getting humiliated here, so we're gonna bounce out. Super tennis. I'm actually win this. Ah. Uh... First person ball mode. Super tennis! Tokyo Shoseki. Oh, hey! Let's see, circuit, singles, doubles. Let's see, Amy, Lisa, Donna, Colette, Yuka, Barb, Nancy, Debbie, Aaron, Kim, Matt, Phil, Meyer, Hero, Rob, Mark, Steve, Rich, John, and Brian. Okay, lots of American names. Colette, I guess. Uh, let's have her go against Barb. Uh, let's go three sets. Keep it. Uh, let's see. Clay, hard, lawn, uh, hard, I guess. Alright. 
Let's see if. Sure. Play. There we go. Hey, we got one. Oh, messed that up. All right, well, double fault. There we go. You kind of have to not hit it at its peak, which is not a, a thing that tennis games, at least in the last, like, 20 years have done. Oh, crap. Oh, that's good. Fault. Fault. You don't have post control of that ball. Deuce. Deuce. Yeah, you suck, Barb. Fault. It's only because I'm being nice to you that... Fault. Well... All right, back in deuce. Taking a deuce here. Just get up to the net, huh? Just want to throw the racket at her and knock her out. Oh, crap. My knowledge of virtual tennis games and such is ruining me here. Okay, she has the advantage. Oh, you stink, Barb. Deuce. There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, crap. You know, I need to actually hit the ball. That's, that's the thing you need to do in tennis. Pretty sure. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh crap. Oh. Hey, give me that ball. Alright. Hey. We're going to win this any time now. Oh, that's like a low hit, so you have a chance of getting it uh, a good angle that the other person can't hit. Just so, oh, she's she, she she just missed it. She's no Serena Williams. Oh crap! You know I got to hit that ball, and I am not doing that. It's going to be the set that never ends. I was right there. Dude. Didn't do anything. Let. Let. Aha! Back a deuce. Oh no, we got the advantage. Wait. What? Oh, did my pro controller just die? Oh, well, great. That is just great. So, hold on a second, folks. I have to figure out where I put my USB cord for this. I'll be right back. All right, we should be okay here. Wait.
What the heck is going on? I've got the green light on the bottom. It says it's not it's connected. It's not doing anything. Should be giving me a charge light. Unless I have it plugged in the wrong way, which I don't think I do. Maybe I do. I don't know. It's a weird thing to happen. Hmm. I don't know what's going on right now. Uh, hmm. Well, let me pull a Joy-Con off of there. It's, it's going to be bad, but it's better than nothing, I guess. Okay. Or can I use... Hold on a second. Okay, there we go. There we go. Use two separately, I guess. Okay, now I have to relearn how to play this game. Okay. Oh, suck it, Barb. Change court. All right, how are we doing on time? Okay, we got 30 minutes to go. I have no idea why it happened. It still shows it's connected as the first controller. Play. Even though this is showing the same thing. Shut up, Barb. We got tech problems here. We got bigger problems than you. Ah, it's all your fault, Barb. You broke the damn game. Ah, see? I told you. It's a very quiet game. Alright, we're just gonna... Damn it, Barb! Oh, jeez, it's gonna take a while. All right, we're going to create a save. We're going to go back. All right, so what do we have? I think we'll play some Super Goals and Ghosts. Uh, when all else fails, blame Barb. Yeah. It's all her fault. She died. Uh, let's see. I'll show you just how stupid hard this game is. Uh, then we'll play some uh, Kirby's uh, Dream Course, because that'll be fun. All right, here we go. What do we have for options? Uh, let's see. Shot A, Y, jump B. Okay, sure. Uh, players. Ooh. Let's give us all the players. Nine. Uh, stereo, game level, beginner, normal, expert, professional. Wow. Uh, let's see, exit. Okay. Game start. Ah, uh, we're zooming in. Okay. We're just zooming in on a sprite here. Uh, okay. Yeah, some Mode 7 stuff going on here. Okay. Oh, crap. Okay, cool. Hey, buddy, what do you got? You got something for me? Oh, what? 
And so playing Catherine lately, the the tower, the way they have it set up, it's not as intricate as this map is, but it's very much inspired by it, especially the part where uh, he is in his underwear. Okay, there's a double jump. I forgot about that. Oh yeah, here we go. It has a game that the the, re the replay mode is made for. I have to deal with the BS that this game has to offer you. Hey, wolf. I had just a fire beast there. Alright, well, we're dead already. This game is super hard. I don't think I ever made it past the first level. It was 15 years ago, though. Might try again at some point. I mean, with the the, the rewind, you can definitely uh, have a better shot at it. I'm not going to say it's going to automatically let you get past things, but you have a better shot than you did back in the day, unless you had... Uh, The, the cheat devices. I forget what they're called. I know one was like Code Genie, something like that. Oh crap. Alright. It's good thing we give ourselves a bunch of lives here. We're just gonna keep playing the same part of the game over and over again. So. Yeah, we're going to bounce out there. Yeah, there's a lot of good stuff here. Some stuff that you might not necessarily know a ton about that is also worth checking out. Uh, play a little Kirby's Dream Course here. Halkin. Hal Laboratories. Uh, let's play one player. Play Course. New member. Oh, I have to actually draw? Alright. Sure. I don't know what I drew there. Okay, sure. This game is definitely one of those uh, gems of the Kirby series that people don't talk about as much as they should. All right, so we have Kirby here. We want to get him to a hole. But we don't know where it's at. So we gotta take out some enemies here. All right, not too bad. I can also kind of... Let's get this, power shot. There we go, and there's the hole. Alright, it's not too hard. Let's see, let's get... That's good. Oh, too much. There we go. Ah, uh, four shots, it's not great. It's not great, you gotta do better than that. It's got some good music though. Uh, let's see, how do we want to aim this? Let's see, let's get... That will be good. Just power shot it. There we go. And the hole right there. Alright. There we go. Two shot. And that Pro Control is still saying it's it's in good shape, so I don't know what's going on there. I just had to let it die. Or turn off the switch. I, I, I assume that'll work. 
So I forget what these star these arrows do. I think they just send you that direction. There we go, sets us up for that being Alright, we're in good shape. Uh let's see how hard do I have to hit it. There we go. Alright, two shot. How are we doing on time? Okay, we're we're okay. Let's see. I think they have this set up to kind of trick you into not doing too hard of a shot. And no, 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 no. Okay. Let's see. Let's get this guy. All right, set ourselves up for a good shot here. There we go. I think this guy... I forget what this guy does. Oh no. Oh crap. How am I supposed to get up there? I have to, yeah, I have to do this. Oh! Okay. We're okay. Hey! Yeah, there's some good golf games on this system. Uh, I forgot the other one I played. Super Hole in One Golf, I think it is. Yeah, we'll finish up the the round here. All right, there we go. Coming down. Oh. Let's see right here. Which I think super hole in I think it was super hole in one golf. I know it's Hal's hole in one golf, something like that. There it is, Hal's hole in one golf. Which was made by. Yeah, Hal. As in Kirby Hal. Oh, 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 just a little too much there. But yeah, featured kind of somewhat realistic golf and mechanics and all that. That'd be fun to have on this. Uh, published by HAL as well. It's one of those weird instances where they did not... Uh, Nintendo did not publish one of their games. Alright, so... We want this, but we want it to not be... Oh, I didn't... I didn't want to do that. Oh well. And let's do this again. Oh crap. That was gonna be the hole where we mess it all up. Uh let's see, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, there we go. Oh crap. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna rewind. We never made a bad shot here. What? There we go. Oh. Oh, does he just hang out in the water? Okay, now we gotta... 
Oh, crap. Kirby's gonna drown pretty soon. There we go. That's not too bad. Cheer up, Kirby. I'm just gonna beat you up, Kirby, until you fall into a hole. Yeah, we get this last hole here. Uh, let's see, water. Is that water symbol gonna turn off the water? Make us some. Okay, cool. Turns off the water. Ooh, just enough to get over there. Oh. Oh. We ran out of uh, health there, I guess. That was weird. Oh crap, I messed that up. You know what we're gonna do? We never made that shot. We never did that. Yeah, you gotta take out an enemy each time you get a, a hit back, essentially. There we go. Yeah, we're not going to go over here just yet. Oh, we could do this. Kirby's going to bounce, bounce, bounce. Oh, comes close, though. There we go. Finish that. Too bad. Oh, there's the his, his starship. Did pretty okay, 26. Alright, how do we do? Oh, best score is 19. We got a bronze. Okay, sure. Sure, that's the thing. three on the leaderboard okay okay and so yeah there's different courses to go to and all that so that's pretty cool uh wait game selection there we go uh and i guess uh that's about it though i guess we could jump into demon's crest real quick since omega missed that part I should be able to just load my suspend point. There we go. Okay. Oh. Oh crap. And I get this makeshift hammer bro out of here. I don't know what's below me. Oh crap, spiders. I wasn't expecting spiders. Yeah, we're not doing good on health. Okay, cool. There we go, at least we can climb walls. Yeah, it took me a little bit to get used to the game at first, because that first boss, it's not completely obvious that you got to hit him in the head. Uh, but once I figured that out, it wasn't too bad. Oh, hey, spider. Oh, 
Oh, something. I don't know what that was. Yeah, once I saw this, I was like, well, there's there's a lot more. I didn't, I'm not anywhere close to getting to with that game. I want to say, no, I think, I don't know. There we go. I do like this, like, wall uh, mechanic for clinging to walls. And this is a weird mechanic where you push stuff in the ground, or in the background. I don't know what that, that's something like I'm supposed to be able to interact with, or what? I guess it's just to keep you from standing there the whole time. There we go. There we go. There we'll get our health back. Maybe upgrade too, I don't... Oh, boss time. One of these guys here. I've watched your progress, and I'm glad that I shall be the... One to put an end to your petty crusade. I believe you have heard of me. I am Arma. Oh yeah, you're, good. you're a pretty good shooter. Uh, led to PUBG. I will be your executioner. No, I shall be yours. Ooh. It's like ice breath. Uh, but yeah, I don't know if you... If you saw it in the Nintendo Direct, uh, Tetris 99 has uh, a big update that adds uh, daily missions. They get you these ticket currency that you can use to buy uh themes, special themes, which I was playing some of that earlier, uh, kind of maybe the one knock I have against is some of those, uh, uh, daily missions are for the paid mode, so if you don't have those, you can't, uh, get those, it was two on this first day, there's four total, two for the paid, uh, and two that were for the regular mode. Uh, let's see, Capcom should doing, consider doing a remake of this game. It'd be awesome. Yeah, I can see them doing uh, a remake of some of these older games. Uh, maybe a collection, since they like doing the collections. Uh, yeah, I could definitely spoof up this. Uh, you have found the crest of Earth. Whether you can morph into a G-Gargoyle. Gain great speed and the strength to break stone statues. Okay. G gargoyles. Okay. Good gargoyles. Oop. Mode 7. So I guess we can just fly around a bit. Find places to land at, I guess. Woo! Do donuts. Donuts for Jesus. Oh. Final Fantasy style overworld? Yeah. Okay, so how do I turn into that other... I guess this one? No? There we go. Okay. Oh, okay. Sure. I guess that's the thing I could do. Yeah, sure. These are reasonable things to have. Oh, we can't actually kill these things. They kill us. Yeah, it doesn't seem like I can kill them. 
They're just trying to tongue us here. Oh crap. That never happened. I am good at this game. Oh no. Oh crap, I got tongued. Oh crap. Oh crap, I can't. Okay, well. Yeah, I guess I can't land on those uh, smooth. St oh, that's just that's that's a violent tonguing. Uh, but yeah, I think that's uh, that's a pretty good look at the uh, Super Nintendo games, the stuff that you should check out that you maybe didn't already know if you wanted to, because you know the games that are good here, uh, you know them. Uh, the stuff that just has a reputation to them uh, and the other stuff uh, kind of deserves to look at too if you're interested in what they have to offer uh, yeah I think I have particular fondness for super earth defense force there uh, and maybe the the rewind feature will be make super ghouls and ghosts uh, something you can actually beat uh, without too much work but uh, yeah there's some good stuff here and uh, that'll be it for us tonight. Uh, we'll be back on Saturday. I'm still not sure what I'm going to do for that stream. Uh, but Sunday we're going to be doing a 20th uh, anniversary of the Dreamcast stream. Uh, we're going to play a bunch of Dreamcast games. I know I have Seaman, uh, Crazy Taxi. I have a, a bunch of other stuff uh, here that's just in my collection. Uh, that we'll be playing. Maybe I'll do, maybe Saturday we'll, we'll get the Dreamcast stuff set up and just check it out. Maybe play some of the other things there. Uh, kind of figure out what I want to play on that stream. Uh, if not, we'll play something else. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Maybe we'll play that Kirby. Uh, Super Kirby Clash, whatever. Whatever that thing is that I downloaded. I don't know. Uh, it's somewhere around here. Uh, but yeah, thank you everybody uh, for tuning in. I uh, hope you have a, a good rest of your week. And uh, good luck with the weekend coming up. And uh, have a good weekend.